Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another technical analysis update for Bitcoin. This video is going to be a continuation from yesterday's Bitcoin analysis. In yesterday's video, we spoke about how the lower time frames, like the four hour time frame, were looking bullish for an upwards move up. And that's exactly what we have seen. We also mentioned how the daily time frame was looking like it was about to put in a cheeky little trigger wave here, which is exactly what we're seeing at the 200 day exponential moving average. So the four hour time frame and the daily time frame were looking bullish, but the one time frame that we were quite concerned about was the three day time frame, which is this time frame right here. And what we wanted to see was VWAP to start to curve back up. And now we're actually starting to see that VWAP line right there, that yellow line is starting to curve up. So in today's video, let's do a real time market update on these time frames. Let's start off by looking at the one hour time frame because we can see a lot of long positions are opening up as the money flow on the one hour time frame is aggressively pushing up despite it being the weekend what we can see on the daily time frame is the price of bitcoin has now reclaimed the 200 day exponential moving average which is a long term trend lines. So we want to see that $62,000 holds as a support in the event that this is just a weekend pump and then there's a retracement into Monday and then price can move up higher next week. If we look at the two hour time frame, what we can see is money flow is starting to come out over time. But what is bullish is that VWAP line right there. Very nice curvature on the VWAP. So it's looking like momentum on this time frame will have another resurgence back up which is again bullish. So price is likely going to move up from looking at these lower time frames. When we look at the four hour time frame, we can see that price action was holding the Fibonacci golden pocket as a support level. Then there was this liquidity grab, a swing failure pattern of this area here, which was holding as a support level. And what we can see is as price action had that liquidity grab, there was actually a bullish divergence on this momentum indicator, which is usually a sign that price has reached an area of exhaustion as it has come down to this extreme level right here. So then as soon as price reclaimed the Fibonacci golden pocket, which was literally at the time at which I filmed yesterday's video, we can see there was a very quick move up of 5.25 percent so that there would have been a profitable short-term move if you were to take that i personally didn't take that move because i already hold a long position in micro strategy stock which is going pretty ballistic right now so i don't need to take on any more risk in bitcoin as you can see the price of micro strategy stock has pushed off to a completely new all-time high price and all i'm doing there is just taking profits out of that position as price moves up my favorite time frame right now is the daily time frame because over time we can see momentum is now flowing to the upside as money flow is now back in the positive money flow is kind of like water and the momentum is like the riverbank so as you start to see the riverbank getting constrained to the upside you can expect money flow to continue up and then also when we look at the three day time frame we can see that money flow is making higher lows so once we see that three day money flow cross into the positive just like what happened here look what happens to price at that point in time boom goes crazy so things are looking promising on the daily time frame three day time frame still looking a little bit sus with this momentum wave here the way it keeps chopping in on each other but as soon as we see that yellow line the vwap line cross over zero then we can expect momentum to have a nice resurgence as money flow crosses in so things could get very bullish here very quick there are two scenarios that i want to be prepared against right now the first scenario is we see price push up with daily momentum then maybe retest around the top of this regression trend channel and then move up in December and for the rest of Q4 and, and also for the rest of Q1. The bear case scenario is based on fundamentals and the economic data that we see. So let's say the labor market showing more weakness, the unemployment rate starts to go up over time as inflation also starts to go up. Well, then that's going to mean that future rate cuts are going to be less probable, which would directly impact global money supply. And we know Bitcoin's price action is ultimately a function of global money supply. Therefore, in the short run, we may May see a contraction in the price of Bitcoin back down into this lower half of this time tested regression trend channel. Call it worst case if you want. I call that best case because that's when I'm going to be buying up a lot of Bitcoin because ultimately everyone buying Bitcoin up here, this is not the best entry unless if you're a very low time frame trader and you're using tight risk management. The best time to buy Bitcoin would have been down here, down here, down here, all moments when the price of Bitcoin came to the bottom of this time tested regression trend channel. If you were a Bitcoin trader, 
and a good Bitcoin trader, you would know how to trade this range. And it's been very profitable. I've made a lot of money trading all of these moves here on Bitcoin. I remember I traded this move back here with like 7x leverage. I think I made around 70% return on that trade right there. On this move here, I traded it via MicroStrategy stock. And if I overlay the chart of MicroStrategy stock right now, you can see that one's gone ballistic. This here was one of my buy orders on MicroStrategy. You can see that position is up 72% right now. And of course, I'm always telling Trading Drip channel members in real time in Discord as and when I'm buying Bitcoin. So although this downwards regression trend channel has been kind of boring and we always want to see those major breakouts to like $80,000, $90,000 or $100,000, it's still been a profitable market. And the hardest thing about trading this market has literally been trading psychology because this has been a time-based capitulation. A lot of people have lost hope in Bitcoin during these wicks here. But what we'll see is when Bitcoin breaks off to a new all-time high price, this is when those low IQ traders come flying back. And I'm just being real, that they're low IQ. Why would you come flooding back into Bitcoin as it's breaking out to a new all-time high price? These are all the ascending wedge guys. They'll, they'll measure this length over here. They'll plop it up here. And then they'll be like, oh my God, price target, $100,000. Yeah, let's go there next. So to summarize this video, bull case thesis looks a little something like this. Bear case thesis will look a little something like this. Either way, I'm happy and hopefully you guys will be happy as well. If you're finding value in these videos, give this video a thumbs up down below. Consider subscribing if you're new here and don't forget to check out the channel membership if you want to trade in real time with me and Discord.